Hello and welcome guys, I got so much great feedback on my last game asset creation series and also requests to do a character creation series. Well currently I need a ghost character for my game, so I decided to use this for a new series and we will start with Blender again for creating the high poly ghost model. The idea is to create the head and arms as base objects. Later on I will hide or delete these because they won't be visible for our ghost, but I need them as collision objects when I simulate a plane as silk falling down onto these objects. And the resulting shape of this process will be the ghost. So I add a UV sphere as the head and two cylinders for the arms. After creating the first cylinder I press R and Y and type in 45 to rotate it around the Y axis 45 degrees. Then I duplicate the cylinder with Shift D and again press R and Y and rotate it 90 degrees. But I think 45 is a bit too much, I will rotate it again minus 15 degrees and the same for the other one. And I think this is a good kind of skeleton for building the shape of our ghost. Ok, then I will select a cylinder and switch to the physics tab. And then I will click the collision button to define this object as collision object and I will do the same for the sphere and the other cylinder. Great, and now let's add our plane at the center. Then I move it above the model and press S to increase the scale. Not too much. Ok, and then I will press S and Y to increase the scale just a little bit along the Y axis. Nice, and now I will switch to edit mode and subdivide the plane. Press W and subdivide and I will do this 5 times. Ok, then again to object mode and define the plane as cloth. As a preset I will use silk. And then I will press Alt A to start the simulation. And the plane is falling down, colliding with the collision objects and hopefully forming the shape of our ghost. I will switch to smooth shading for the plane and this already looks quite nice, but I think I have to subdivide one more time to get even more details for the ghost model. So I'm moving backwards in the timeline and then again switch to edit mode and press W and subdivide one more time. Then Alt A to start the simulation and look at this. That's really great as far as the wrinkles and details is concerned, but I don't want the plane to overlap the arms. So I will move the cylinders more to the outsides and also decrease the width of the plane. Alright, this is exactly what I was going for. Ok, what I will do now is to move the slider of the timeline to a frame that I want to use for the ghost model and then I switch to the modifiers tab and apply the cloth modifier. Then I will create a material for the plane and I will call this mat underscore ghost. Then I switch to the material viewport shading and this looks already quite interesting at least. Then you can select the cylinders and the sphere and hide or delete this because we don't need it anymore. The next part will be to add some eyes to this ghost, so I switch to edit mode with face selection, select these faces on the right side and these faces on the left and then I press the delete key to remove the faces from the model. Great, and to make these eyes look more rounded I switch to object mode and add a subdivision surface modifier to the ghost.
Then I apply this. And directly after this, I add a solidify modifier to give this ghost sheet a bit more thickness. Okay, I really like it and the last step will be to switch to sculpting mode, select the grab brush and modify the shape of the eyes and the whole ghost character. Do this really carefully and don't exaggerate too much. You can also come with a smooth brush and smooth out some areas, for example here, around the eyes. Alright, that's an early version of the High Poly Ghost model. Now we'll add a plane and some lights to create a first render of the ghost model. And here's my guy, very cool. In the next part we will add more details, then create the low poly version before we rig and animate this. So if you like this series, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to JNM to be notified when the next part is uploaded. Thanks a lot for watching this, thanks for your support and come back soon to JNM.